Hey guys, Josh Baldwin with Vegan Fit here. Um, today we're going to talk about my favorite tricep exercise. We're going to do some skull crushers. Um, my clients hate these because it always makes them sore for a couple days. I do all kinds of different tricep exercises every week, but for me, nothing hits the triceps harder than the skull crusher. So we're going to talk about the different ways to do it, how to get the perfect form, making sure you keep your elbows safe, your wrists safe, your shoulders safe, and uh, get the most tricep pump that you can. All right, so when we're doing the skull crushers, um, we're gonna be really hitting the primary long head of the tricep. So that is what you're gonna, what you're gonna feel the most. Um, you're gonna really dig in right here. It's gonna get really swollen, really big pump. Um, what we don't wanna feel is the elbow, right? That's some people's main concern when they start doing uh, skull crushers is, is, is elbow pain. So we're gonna try to, I'm gonna show you a couple tips to kind of avoid elbow pain, and hopefully you can do these pain-free and get that awesome tricep pump. All right, so if you're by yourself, you're gonna to wanna to just get the uh, bar here, roll on back, get nice and straight, take your time getting set up. It's really important to get comfortable before you start your skull crushers. A lot of people jump up and they get right to it. So I'm gonna get comfortable. I like to have my grip right here. Um, I kinda of play around with that a little bit, but generally that nice tight shoulder width is a good fit. Um, so let's talk about the old versus the new. Um, I do a modern or newer version of a skull crusher. Some people call this a French curl. So we're going to start here, down to the back of the head, and then back to the same position. That's a modified version. Most people do that nowadays because it is safer on the elbow. But some people do prefer the old school skull crusher, which I'll show you now. Um, doesn't really feel great on my elbows, but everyone's different. So this one, you're going to go down here and then come up, which is why it's called a skull crusher, right? So. Again, that version's okay if it doesn't give you elbow pain. I generally recommend clients start off with the uh, modern version or the French curl because it just eliminates uh, elbow pain for about 90% of people out there. Okay, so let's talk about the proper form here. What we're gonna shoot for is the start and finish point to be right here. So let's, we're talking roughly you know, 45 degree angle backwards and that, that should keep the elbow pretty safe. So. The number one problem people have with this is that they move their shoulders around a lot. It's to make it easier, it makes their body feel more comfortable, but you're missing out big time on the tricep pump. So let's do a couple of clean reps first. So we're gonna be here, here, here. Okay, so when I'm doing those, I'm keeping my arm very, very stable. My idea is just to bend the elbow, go to the back of the head, come right back. I'm not gonna move my shoulder around. So let me show you what a lot of people do wrong. They, they dip their shoulders, okay? It's a little bit easier, but you can really hurt your shoulder this way. So a lot of people go like this, and then they drop the shoulders like that, and then they come back up. Now, this isn't a ton of weight, okay? So it's kind of safe for me to do that, but you start pushing the weight pretty hard, um, you could really hurt your shoulder that way. So we're gonna try to avoid that at all costs and keep it nice and tight. Just here, 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 and there. All right, one of the other really important elements of any tricep exercise is keeping your elbows tight. You do not wanna flare out like this. The wider I get with my elbows, the more shoulder I'm gonna be using. We wanna use as much tricep as possible. So. When I'm going down, I'm going up, they might not always be perfectly tight, perfectly straight, but I'm trying to keep them together as much as I can. So when I go down, I'm here. When I go up, I'm here. I'm trying not to go like that much easier, but I'm not gonna get the tricep pump that I'm looking for. All right, so now I wanna talk about one of the other big problems people have. This is not necessarily bad for any joint, like the other things, like going backwards is bad for your shoulder but this is just makes it easier, but you're keeping the pressure off of the tricep, which is what we don't want to do. We want to keep constant tension on the tricep. So by do, in order to do that, we're going to have to stay at a constant 45 degrees, up, down, up, down. We're not going to go forward with the bar. So again, the correct way is going to be here, here, and here, just nice and smooth. Now, what a lot of people do is this motion here. They go down, and when they come up, they go forward, okay? What that turns into is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a bench press, a little bit of a shoulder press, and you're also using a little bit of lats in order to make that lat pullover type of motion. So what we wanna shoot for is that perfect 45 down and 45 again. We don't wanna go down here and then go forward, okay? 
Or what a lot of people do is they combine both of those bad form. So they go down low and then they come forward like that. And I could do those all day. That's not a difficult motion on the triceps, <clears throat> but you're also not really doing a whole lot for your triceps. So let's do a couple reps here. Nice and clean here, 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 here. Just like that. So that is how to do a skull crusher properly. Again, I don't think there's a better tricep exercise out there. You're gonna feel these right away, but especially if you do three, maybe four sets, pick a proper weight you can do maybe six to 12 times. I like to go with a weight I can do eight to 10, that's kind of my perfect range. Three or four sets of these, the triceps are really gonna swell up, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So after only about two good sets there, I already have a ton of swelling in the triceps. So I don't know if you can see a difference, hopefully you can, but my triceps is really, really busting out right now. And if I do another, you know, two sets of these, um, they're gonna be just on fire. But the main thing is I can tell they're working. I'm gonna be sore in the triceps for probably two, maybe even three days. A lot of other stuff I do like push downs and other tricep exercises I do love, but I will not get that three day killer soreness the tricep skull crusher creates. If you like the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep making these perfect form exercise videos. Let me know what exercises you guys need help with. I'll try to make a video if you put a note down in the comment section about what you need help with. I'll try to make a video for you, and hopefully it'll help with your form and keep you safe, but also get the best pump that you can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shut down.